it's been a couple months and I'm here to do a get ready with me because I know that I'm the style guru and a lot of you guys have been asking about what my routine looks like so I figured I would show you here in my humble abode aka my car so first things first you're gonna need your big old bag of tricks aka your fucking Sephora makeup that basically robbed you of rent you're gonna need unbrushed hair unwashed hair basically dying you need a shower so bad three-day-old pajama shirt preferably with ice cream on the titty and um, then you're gonna be all set to go oh and your slippers okay next up we're gonna need music three-day-old pajama shirt preferably with ice cream on the titty and um, then you're gonna be all set to go oh and your slippers okay Next up, we're going to need music. Don't be like me and buy your auxiliary cord at Dollar Tree because it will not work. So we're just going to play it from my phone. Why is my phone not working? Eh. <laughs> can't work Spotify. Not. First, you're gonna want some powder for that little shiny face of yours because nobody wants to fuck a shiny face. So you're just gonna coat yourself in that powder, gonna look so good. No shine. You don't shine. You don't sparkle or shine. You're just a little matte bitch. Next up, we are going to get those findy dindy brows. You're gonna take your brow brush, if that's what this is, I don't know. And you're gonna use some brown eyeshadow. Yep, the people are always shocked that I use the eyeshadow, but guess what? I like to think outside the box. And I get perfect brows. So you're just gonna take that and you're just gonna... Wow, doing makeup in a car mirror is like not really the best, but... You're just gonna go around along the bottom nice and thick like... And you're just gonna do like a little brush, brush, brush up so that those brows look fucking Bella Hadid worthy. Up, up, up. Nope, we're not getting the up, up. We need to blend that line. Blend that line, baby. Yes. This is what the people want. This is what the people want. Yes, you want to have that Nike just do it brow. You want to have that nice We're just doing it. We're just mother flipping doing it. Oh, yes, baby. You see, you see. Now we do the second. I hope y'all can see. Okay, you see we did the thick dark line under on the under of the brow. The under brow. The eyebrow, the under brow. <laughs> No, we're gonna do a lighter line up on the top. Yes! Wow, I'm wanting to punch myself in the face. I'm being so annoying. And then we're gonna wanna do that nice thick whoosh, whoosh. We want the whip brow, the whip brow. And now we're gonna do the blend. Rock it up, rock it up. For some reason, this brow just works really well. So it takes me about one second. Do you see the brow? Do you see the brow? Okay, and because it's a nice rainy day, we're gonna go with something really, really subtle, a nice subtle look. We don't want anything too over overpowering, so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. Very subtle for fall. Um, great for summer as well. The Popo. -po. I hope they're not coming for more. Okay, so here you're going to see we have some really nice subtle colors. So, just so nice. I'm going to here, I'm going to take the Bahamas color. No, that's a lie. I'm going to take the Monte Carlo. We're just going to dab, dab, dab. And you're going to apply that nice light shadow all the fuck over your face. All over that eye. Oh, 
all over. Smother it. Love it. You want to be so on top of it, you are like the hovering girlfriend. Just all the fuck over that lid. Oh, so subtle. This is going to be just such a great look for a nice day at home. A nice rainy day at home. Okay, so now you've got your base color. And now we're going to go ahead. This toque is really not f working on my head. So next up, we're going to take our our pop color. Pop, pop color. Um, and it's going to be the Bahamas here, which I'm sure you can see. It's the pop color. So you're just going to go a dab, 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 dab. And you're just going to get that all up in that mother flipping crease. You see, you're going. You're just like a smooth criminal up in that crease. And we're going to do the other eye. Oh, yeah. Smooth criminal. Smooth criminal. You can never overblend. You can never overblend. So as you can see now, we just have that nice subtle look. Now we are going to take the glitter because it is not a day without glitter on this face. Some people refer to me as Barbie girl. So we're going to take this Palermo. Palermo. I don't know what the fuck that means. You're just going to shove some of that on that finger. And you're going to tippity-tap it right along that line, the water line, but not the water Oh, oopsie. Oh, no. Not the water line, like the upper water line, right along the eyelashes. And you're just going to smear it on there because you don't know what you're doing and I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yes. This look is everything. Okay. And now you're just going to take that finger, you're just going to wipe it on your pants. You're just going to wipe it on your pants. So, as you can see there, the shadow is looking basically fucking Oscar ready. You're basically there. Next up, because it's not a rainy day without some glitter, we need to bring the sparkle everywhere we go. Okay, babies? Okay. So, here I have the Urban Decay Glitter Liner in pink. And you're just going to take that shit and you're just gonna shove it mostly along the inner um whatever you'd call this but you're also just gonna take the the whip you're just gonna oh yes oh yes like a little baby van gogh you're painting that night sky but guess what the night sky is your face these are the stars oh and you're just whipping it and whipping it. So you will see it's a bit thicker on the inside, a little bit more calm on the outside, okay? Okay. And you're just gonna kinda wanna keep your eyes looking like you just smoked 24 blunts um, because the glitter will transfer to the top of the lid and we do not want that. We do not want to ruin this Van Gogh masterpiece. And flutter, and flutter. All right, babies. So just keep your eyes nice and stoned. Now you're going to pull out your, uh, what have I got here? My Lancome motherfucking liquid liner, liquid pen liner. So now that your, your eyes are a little bit dry, they're still pretty wet. So you're going to just kind of stony, ah, squinty. And you're just going to put this on the last half of your eye, the second half, the better half. Because we don't want to cover up this glitter. We don't want to cover up our artwork. And then you're just going to kind of take a plunge of faith. You're going to say a little prayer. Thank you, Sky Daddy. Please help my liner look good today. And you're just going to fucking go for it. Whoosh. Oh, thank you, Sky Daddy. Okay, now we're going to do the same for this lie. Uh, yeah, we're doing it. And then say your little prayer. Please, Sky Daddy. This eye likes to be a major bitch. Please help her to be a nice girl today. And you're going to take the plunge, and one, two, oh. And then you're going to even it out because the prayer hardly worked. But it worked well enough. Okay, babies, now you're going to pop that mother flippin' Smashbox super fan, whatever this shit is called. And you're going to just go like this because it's a little bit empty. You need to scrape some off of the sides. My landlords are watching me out the window with their baby. Uh, and you're just gonna... Mm -mm -mm. You're just gonna butterfly it on. 
Wow, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I look so freaking good. And the key to getting this looking the best you can is to keep your mouth open the whole time. And for a little extra length, get a little tongue action going. Oh, perfect, that tongue. And you're gonna... Other eye. We all have one eye that is like the good, beautiful, queen, fucking Jennifer Lawrence, beautiful, Hunger Games, could survive anything and still look good. And then we have that other eye that is just a fucking nightmare gremlin, Dobby the motherfucking elf, no matter what you do. Uh, you could setting spray the shit out of it and it's gonna look like trash from start to finish. Even with no makeup on, it's just a trashier eye. So, we don't really care about that eye. We pray for that eye, but we don't have much expectation for that eye. It won't really go anywhere. It mostly just coasts off the success of other eye. Okay, Dobby eye, that's as good as you're getting. And now, because you don't really sleep, and you're a very busy, beautiful, boss babe woman who doesn't lay in bed and watch Netflix all day, no, 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 that's not the reason for those eye bags, we're gonna take a little bit of that Urban Decay concealer, and we're just gonna, oh yeah, we're gonna just cake the fuck out of that because nobody wants to fuck a girl with eye bags. Do you understand what I'm saying? Next up, you're going to take your beauty blender, which is uh, old and caked in makeup and should probably be washed. And Guys, I'm really, really quite upset because that whole video was blurry, but I hope you're still here watching, watching me dab, watching me live my life. So now that you're bag free, you're not a bag lady anymore, we're going to contour that motherfucking face. We are going to transform this face. And I really hope this isn't blurry anymore. Oh my god, I'm missing an important brush. We're just going to use our fingers and hope for the best. Okay, so you're going to take your fingers, which would normally be a brush, and you're going to swipe some of this lighter brown. Oh my god, this is a real... Oh... You know what? This has got to go, and you're going to see my greasy, greasy mane. So you're going to just hoop, hoop, right along that cheekbone, looking so good. Like the, like, oh, you're going to be a Kardashian. No one's even going to know who you are. You're going to contour that nose. This is really freaking weird to do with a finger. Oh no, we're over contouring, but that's okay. You're going to do a couple little dots on the forehead because we want our forehead to look slender because apparently that's important now. And um, now that you have your chalky lines, we are ready to shape shift. So you're going to take your big old chunky thick brush and you're just going to small circles, but big and fast. Big and fast, small, big, fast, small circles. Wow, this hair. You're just going to beat your motherfucking face. And we're going to do this side, beat it. Oh my god, I look so good. Fingers are not. This is freaking working for me. So now that you look like a Kardashian, Kyler, Jenner, whatever the flip you want to be, we're going to highlight. You're going to pop that highlighter right on that fucking cheek right above where we did that beautiful dark line we're just gonna do that oh my goodness you're gonna do that nose because you basically want it to look like you don't have a nose noses are overrated we have rated noses out we no longer care about them and you're gonna do that top lip because you want to look like you got injections or like you just ate a whole plate of hot sauce and your lips are all swollen oh my god who is that beautiful 
All right, now you're gonna tackle that hair that you have not touched or brushed in two days. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna whip out your trusty scrunchie, which saves you on many a occasion. I'm wearing pink because it matches my pajamas and my eyes. You're going to, you're going to whip upside down as far as you can. And you're just going to collect all that hair on the top of your head. Oh my god, I spilled ice cream in my car and it is smeared all over my seat. And you see, you're just going to pop as far as your roof will allow you to go. You're going to pop it. You're going to roll it. And you're gonna do a real tight little bun, okay? You're gonna go like this. Boop! Tight little bun. So cute. Hair looks healthy. Can hardly tell I haven't showered. And I'm just gonna pull a few pieces out so it looks like I haven't tried. Next up, you're gonna have your second elastic that currently lives on your wrist, probably is rotting to your arm. And you're gonna wrap that thick old mane of hair around that little bun till it comes to the front. You're gonna take your mighty elastic and you're just gonna mother flipping pop it there. And now you are ready to hit the town. You are by no means gonna go crawl back into your bed and watch Netflix. And the key to making this look so good is to purse your lips like this. And now you're gonna go take 25 selfies and go eat 25 Oreos. Thanks for watching guys! Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and tag somebody that you think looks like shit and needs this makeup tutorial. Bye!